guys and welcome to the show and as you can see uh, I'm back in New York really pleased to be home uh, of course I miss England immensely and um, I had a fantastic time um, just under six weeks uh, I spent um, recuperating re you know getting back the motivation and the energy I mean that's the thing about uh, the big, the big city rat race life is is um, it wears you down, and especially if if you're self-employed um, like me, uh, it, you know you need to learn when to take a rest, when to kind of take a step back, and it's really helped me put things, everything in perspective, and and maybe make me understand what exactly I'm working so hard for, you know, uh, which is um, the most important thing really. Um, and uh, also, you, if you spend all the time working and working um, and never enjoy the fruits of your labor, uh, what's the point, you know? So, um, for me, um, almost six weeks, I'll just say six weeks of, of just, um, you know, breathing in and and enjoying the little things and kind of getting back into touch with uh, um, uh, my my home country and um, it's just it's priceless to me and, and worth every penny and worth uh, all the long hours I, I, I put into work so um, I'm really positive um, frame of mind and um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I, I have missed New York I must admit and um, uh, last night um, of course with the jet lag you, you know you got to be waking up at all kinds of hours of the night but uh, looking out the window and uh, seeing the Empire State glittering and in the horizon you know I feel like I'm in the right place for me um, and of course, you know, I eventually plan to move back home, um, but you know, I'm, I'm not quite at that level yet. So anyway, uh, a lot, a lot of good things are going to come to the channel and, and going to happen over the next few weeks. Uh, I think some of my viewers uh, and new, new viewers are going to be really surprised, um, and um, uh, we've got. We've got somebody new joining the channel, uh, which I think is going to bring a whole new level of of of, um, of sophistication and um, um, just a wider spectrum of topics, and and, and going to make this channel um, that much better. And um, and that's what it's all about, really. I mean, uh, we're here to exchange and to to um, to learn, not not just. Uh, me, but you and everybody, you know, so we can improve ourselves, and and that is the core principle um, of of, um, of what we're doing. So, so yeah, there's going to be some really big changes, and um, anyway, so uh, one of the most pleasant surprises uh, getting back, uh, apart from um, seeing family, and and of course uh, was. I had a little package waiting for me, and um, thankfully, you know, one of the advantages of living in this neighborhood is it's still a, a family neighborhood, um, and so uh, packages that have been sitting around a while, they don't go missing, <laughs> okay, they, they definitely don't go missing, so, and, um, you know, yeah, I've, I've done an Andy Hunter, I mean, um, I've got to thank Andy Hunter for this because um, I've had my eye on on um, good old Steinhardt there for a few years. I've always fancied uh, a few of their models, um, and um, it's not until my good friend Andy took the plunge and and purchased one and reviewed it for his channel, um, and after long deliberation and going back and forth and thinking, oh, should I? Um, on what to buy, uh, I finally pulled the trigger on, on a Steinhardt. Now, so which model of Steinhardt did I get? Now, um, I have always, always, always loved 
the the famous Steve McQueen um, Rolex 1655, the Explorer 2. And this is a very kind of retro chic um, 70s style um, uh, Rolex Explorer 2, and um, not it's it's not like the Rolex Explorer 2 of of uh, of the present day. Uh, it's very particular, and in this particular one has been so made kind of infamous, I guess is the correct word, by the endorsement of, of the coolness that is the uh, Stephen Queen, the actor, not the not my favourite British director, but the actor. I mean, it would be really cool if Steve McQueen, um, the filmmaker, who, who I'm a huge, huge fan of, would, that would be really cool. But anyway, we're talking about Steve McQueen, the, the American actor here. Now, um, uh, it's, it's a case that, it's, it's a, a really good example of, of what happens when a celebrity endorsement can work. Um, and, it's, and it's probably the best example. Um, the 1655 is so sought after and so infamous that uh, it's pushed up the price ridiculously. And, and of course I, I, I did a research and, and looked into it and uh, I found it very hard to find a decent one uh, in decent condition. I mean, considering these are from the 70s, early 80s. Uh, to find a decent one uh, below twenty thousand dollars, and with that being said, I, I you know, I, I doubt I'd ever spend twenty grand on a new watch, let alone um, something, you know, that's older than me, you know, that's actually physically older than me. So. Um, uh, I had to kind of dismiss the idea and, and you know, spending 20 grand on a watch, I mean, um, I feel uncomfortable spending five grand on a watch uh, even, you know, um, and then it has to be something really, really special, um, you know, um, spending so much money on a watch is a, a little bit, um, I wouldn't say vulgar, but it's just, it, it's, it's, it is a lot of money and, and you know, uh, I've touched on this subject before, um, but uh, for me, I, I, it doesn't. I mean, I love watches, but I don't think I'd ever spend that much money on a watch. I'd, I'd, there's a million places I want to still travel to. I, you know, um, for 20 grand, you can have, uh, you know, several months exploring Japan in fantastic hotels and. You know, I'd rather, you know, I have a different priorities. Um, but when I do have a little bit of money to spare, uh, then I indulge in some nice uh, timepieces. But um, not, not so much uh, to that uh, level. Um, but having said that, I still was lusting after it. And I couldn't let it go. So in the end, um, when I saw that Steinhardt... Um, do uh, this is called the Ocean uh, Vintage GMT. Let me just get it in focus there. It's in focus now. Um, yeah, it, it, it is a, homo a homage watch, um, and I've never really well, actually, I've never owned a, a, a homage watch um, um, simply because. Uh, I'd prefer to have the original, and if I can't get the original, I, I, I thought homage was a bit, a bit of not cheesy, but um, uh, a kind of cop out. So, um, but seeing Andy with his with his um, Steinhardt military vintage, uh, it's like a um, I forget the name of it, but uh, I was very impressed with it uh, from what he he said and um, and by the looks of it. So I, took, I, I, I pulled the trigger and I took a plunge and I went for the Steinhardt. Now, um, having said that, that I never owned a homage watch, some people say, oh, well, the, the Seiko SKX is a homage to um, the Rolex um, Submariner. Or, well, actually, those people have probably never owned one. They, the SKX is very 
much its own watch. I mean, yes, of course it ha has borrowed ideas, but so has every diver watch has taken ideas from either the 50 Fathoms or the, or the Submariner. Or... There's always going to be an exchange. Nothing is truly original. I mean, it's the same with music. It's the same with cinema. Um, you know, what, what, is, what is really interesting is when um, people take ideas and innovate and, and push them to the next level, which is what I feel has happened with the Oris Aquis. They've done their, they've taken, they've learned from other divers and then they've applied their own little developments, tweaks and improvements and, and come up with something that is original. Um, I can't really say that for the, for the um, uh, vintage GMT. It is pretty much a straight homage. And in this case, because the original um, is so expensive, um, I thought fair enough. Why not? Now, of course, the the the, the main difference is that it is um, forty-two millimeters rather than the more tasteful subtlety of the forty millimeter original, the Rolex One Six Five Five. Um, but um, I was prepared to, to, to make up to, you know, um, um, make a compromise with going with a, the bigger size because uh, really of, of the quality that Steinhardt um, are able to, to produce for such a, a reasonable, I mean, less than $500, I think. I, um, uh, I can't remember, the, the euro price was... Uh, 420 euros sorry forgive my uh, which is about 540 dollars um, and what you get for 540 dollars is, is definitely worth every penny now I'm gonna do a, f a, a, a review um, a proper review a hands-on review in the next couple of days I didn't want to jump straight into a watch review the second I'm back in New York because um, the, well there's a lot of other things going on um, there's going to be some really big changes to the channel and, and improvements um, that uh, I'm really excited about and um, I think you guys are really going to appreciate it. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to be a very interesting few weeks. Um, so look out for the review of the Steinhardt Vintage GMT. Uh, also, uh, I've got a whole load of new um, little gadgets and, and, and bits and bobs that I really think uh, are worth um, bringing to the channel. Uh, more sartorial, more literature, more cinema uh, as usual. Uh, all um, the kind of um, that are worth highlighting and, and a benefit uh, to anybody um, that is definitely worth knowing about anyway. So so yeah really really positive couple of weeks I've got a lot a lot of work to do um, I mean I think I don't think a lot of you realize that uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg you know um, you know I have several other jobs um, and they all demand uh, a lot of, uh, of my time sorry my, my phone is, is going off now anyway I'll cut it there um, so look out for the Steinhardt GMT Ocean, uh, sorry, Ocean Vintage GMT, and um, yeah, big announcement coming on the channel, and also I think, most importantly, being in London, seeing all the sites, I've kind of taken some of these sites for granted, so I think I will be walking around uh, Manhattan uh, and the neighbourhood here um, to share with you some more quintessentially um, New York uh, sights and sounds okay I'll leave it there guys thank you very much for watching stay tuned um, please subscribe if you're a new viewer email me any questions like the video all the rest of it and thank you for watching and ciao